Littleton Seafarers Welfare, I'm guessing, may provoke some more of a Deputy debate Mayor. than. Aye. Okay. Right. Right. Yep. So, questions? Yes. Unless I missed something, I didn't see any numbers in terms of how much funding would be required. Yeah, so, I mean, this is worded the way it is. Um, I mean, I'd be happy to instruct the port to fund it. To instruct I can't the see board of much. LPC? Yes. Yeah, so advice that, so informal advice from CCHL suggests that this is an operational matter for the port and is something that it would be quite dangerous for council to be simply instructing port management to do something. So the, the wording of, of this resolution is, is quite deliberate, which is instructing council to engage with CCHL through the um, letter of engagement statement of intent process, in turn expecting CCHL to engage with the port through the same process and to let the port board do its job in terms of asking management to do something rather than council just leapfrogging all of that and going straight to council wants the port to do something. Um, there's a, there have already been meetings between community board members and port staff um, which have not resulted in the outcome that we hope this might bring about. Well, Swing some roundabouts, really. I mean, the, the, but I guess the, the original question is what, is there a funding request for this? Do we have any idea of what it would cost um, to fulfil these obligations? Yeah, we, we I don't. Okay. Um, it's more around a funding mechanism and it's more around a discussion between the port and the Seafarers Welfare Centre around what might be required and what other funding contributions there might be as well. We're, we're in this situation where governments have signed up to the Maritime Labour Convention but without any associated funding to, to deliver the um, obligations. So it's quite a complex environment. Okay. And what process would you like for those that prefer the staff recommendation? Yeah, no, no, exactly. Which is what the staff recommendation is yeah, yeah, asking for. So there's a move and a seconder for um, the board recommendation, but a few of us here are just quite comfortable with getting the advice that staff have requested. So would you recommend that we foreshadow the motion, so essentially vote against the resolution up there which Yanni has moved? or is it an amendment to amend to the staff recommendation? Um, okay, so this has been, we've got a mover, Councillor Johansson, a second to Councillor Cowan. Um, yeah, so you would need to foreshadow. Seems the cleanest way is just yeah, foreshadow. Yeah, so, I mean, if you were in favour of um, asking staff to investigate, yep. rather than the community board recommendation, um, you would then foreshadow that you would move um, the yeah, paragraph in black exactly. yep. and vote against so the paragraph in blue. Just getting, just getting the information, what the cost implications, all that sort of stuff are, yep. the staff recommendation I felt. Of totally. Yeah. So it just says to assist with meeting the desired outcomes. It's not a commitment to funding. It's simply yep. a broad intent and a letter of intent and statement of expectation from CCHL and LPC to, meet, to help uh, with the desired outcome. I mean... I think it's more dangerous to specify the funding because, I mean, we don't generally go through all the funding things to our companies through our letter of expectations. It's just a broad general statement as I read it. Yeah, um, it's, it's deliberately non-specific. Um, Phil, Pauline and Vicky. Um, at this stage, I just say I'm, re I'm concerned that in, fact, that in fact if this is delayed again, it's delayed and delayed. This has been to us several times. Um, it, it, as has been said, it, it's a mechanism, it's a process that we're asking for, and I've got some other reasons as to why it's really important. And I'm happy to elaborate on those when it comes to further debate. I just, did, did the um, community board get any uh, staff advice on the recommendation? That this is, this is an okay recommendation to put? There was advice provided at the meeting, yes. Right, and this is consistent with that advice? The, the so there's no point in asking staff to investigate if what the community board is recommending um, has been... And this was the staff's recommendation. Okay, to my staff. Board, yeah, so the, what we've got in black was the staff recommendation yeah, and no. what we've got in blue is the I'm community asking, board... did the community board in their recommendation, which is in blue, seek staff advice on that recommendation and was that staff advice positive? Um, I'm asking at the board meeting, at the community board meeting. 
So did the community board, do they have staff advice on the recommendation that they've put forward in blue? And was that received positively? Did they get positive feedback? In other words, have we already had advice that that is, that is an okay way forward? I can't recall exactly what staff advice was given at that meeting, so I can't answer that. Pam, if we invite you to the table. If you have a recollection of what advice was provided at that meeting. Because if they had, I'd be happy to support the community board recommendation. And the step rely on the table and come back in two weeks. I don't think that's going to change anything. We do have the statements of intent that I think need to be done by the first of April. Is that right? So we, we do we've got a briefing that. coming up from CCHL on statements of intent in a couple of weeks. Right. So, but so if this comes back to the next council meeting with some advice or some direction around numbers, is that really going to delay anything? No. Um, in, yeah, I mean, we certainly would have the ability to leave this lying on the table, bring it back to a future meeting, and still do something with the CCHL statement of intent. Um, so. What we probably what we probably need is for staff to um, provide some information around um, the, the sort of numbers, the sort of figures that we're talking about, the kind of amounts that we're talking about, what alternative funding rec um, opportunities there may be, um, options for how this might be able to be funded by LPC, and maybe um, some advice from CCHL around um, this as well, although it's likely that the CCHL response would come back if we were to include this in the letter of... Um, expectation. There's also um, quite possibly, and Vicky has highlighted it, if we were to make a substantive decision on this today, I probably should vacate the chair and let somebody else deal with that as a um, director of CCHL. Yep. So, um, yeah, I think if, if it makes sense, we could leave, if people are happy, we could leave this lying on the table for further staff advice to be um, provided particularly to repeat any advice that was provided at the community board meeting and to, um, to justify the staff recommendation versus the community board recommendation. Are you asking for just the staff recommendation there? Maybe put a time frame on hmm. uh, But just amend it to say in time. In yeah, but once we've got the staff advice, we may want to pass the community board recommendation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, you get, yeah. You, if you get so that what, what this would allow for would be for the advice that's requested in the black clause to be provided to the meeting, which then would inform whether we wanted to approve the, whether we wanted to resolve the, the black wording or the blue wording. In, Once, no, oh. in the numbers. And the numbers would be provided by the Littleton Seafarers Centre, but staff would be able to acquire those. So aren't, aren't you asking, aren't you um, supporting re the staff recommendation, which is you're asking staff for advice, and based on that advice, you may adopt the council, the board yeah, resolution of including it? So how quickly could that advice be brought back? Because I'm very aware that the um, CCHL statement of intent is almost upon us. So you could add, and we haven't got people here to say whether it's feasible in time for the council to make a decision on. That's why we've got the two weeks that the council will be here. The information with the one in blue. So let's leave the matter lying on the table for staff to provide the advice, mm -hmm. and then the timing will still work around including something in the CCHL statement of intent, in the letter of expectation, statement of intent, if indeed that was what is desired by council at that time. All right. So you have to move and second it. Phil? That, that set, I guess, sounds the most sensible. I would have, would have thought that perhaps we could have done it by way of the one in black, but as long as it works by the, that, um, that time. The danger with the one in black is the advisor may not come back in time for That's, us to I include something that. in so the I'm, SOI. No, I'm fine with that. One, one thing, though, when the advice comes back I'd be interested in is I saw Littleton Port Company's statement, something like that it, this, um, this fund wasn't appropriate. I just wondered to support seafarers what they considered would be appropriate, what their suggestions might be. The staff might know that. 
Yep, so if we can pick that up as regards to staff advice as well. Really what the, what Littleton Port Company thought might be an appropriate way of fund, of funding the seafarers. Yeah, so if not this, then what? Mm. All right, so um, Yanni, yeah, Yanni and um, Aaron, you're happy just that the matter lie on the table? Yeah, so what do we need to do? So we withdraw that motion, yeah. Well, I'll move that it lie on the table. Oh, somebody else can move, actually, that it remain lying on the table. Um, Aaron, move that it lie on the table. Phil, you're happy to second that. All those in favour say aye. Aye. I couldn't hear what we were actually... Sorry, we've got... I'm going Yeah, so this is a vote to leave the matter lying on the table to bring back in two weeks. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Against, that's carried. OK, we'll now adjourn for lunch until um, five past two, so that gives the full hour, um, and we'll start again promptly at um, five past two. Thank you.